Dani is joining our speaker lineup and we get to hear from an incredible young Indigenous woman. Dani Gilbert is a proud young Wiradjuri woman who is passionate about what she is doing where she can to address inequality in our community. Dani is involved in a range of First Nations and youth-led community initiatives, a Year 12 student and an environmental community educator. Her active contribution to the Canberra community has seen Dani to be named the 2018 Young Canberra Citizen of the Year and during ACT NADOC celebrations of community excellence. Dani was also named the 2018 ACT NADOC Youth as well as the Scholar of the Year. So we now welcome Dani. It's so good to be able to come together with you here today on the beautiful lands of the Ngunnawal people. Thank you, Amy, for sharing Aunty Serena's powerful words. I pay my respects to the resilience, knowledge, and sharing of Ngunnawal elders past, present, and emerging. My name is Dani Gilbert. I am a proud, young Wiradjuri woman from the beautiful rivers of central New South Wales. My people's continuing culture and connection stretches back 65,000 years and counting. Yindia Mara. Yindia Mara, to my family, mob, culture, and ancestors for providing for me a guiding strength, knowledge, and resilience. Marin Naran, to all you mob, I am so proud to be amongst awesome humans who are committed to creating safer and more inclusive communities for us all. Ending the devastating pandemic of women being impacted by violence is critical for the well-being of every human on this planet. The racist construct of First Nations people as lesser people since colonisation has devastatingly enabled abhorrent violence, acts of genocide and profound disadvantage for my peoples. Yay! Leaving us with legacies of intergenerational trauma and the continuing realities of racism and inequality for First Nations peoples in this country that remains inadequately addressed and constantly downplayed. I ask that we here today do not turn a blind eye to the fact that historic and contemporary structural inequalities remain an intertwined part of First Nations women's experiences, as there is a far too long accepted status quo for young First Nations women, that the most bleakest of statistics for young women in this country will continue to be our reality. First Nations young women have disproportionately poorer outcomes in health, education, employment and life expectancy that continue to be accepted as social facts. Here in the ACT, we are more likely to grow up in poverty and be impacted by violence than obtain a tertiary entrance score to access university. As within the unacceptable rates at which women experience violence in this country, First Nations women are overrepresented. We are three times more likely to experience sexual violence and five times more likely to experience physical violence in our lives. I cannot accept this as a continuing reality for myself and my sisters. We, all women, have the right to be safe and to be able to thrive. Those right there are real social facts that can and should be the cultural norm within our society. I ask that we continually rally against people and forces that expect us to accept that any person is lesser than another. As we hear from, walk with, and talk about the work being done here in our community, to ensure that women can live their lives to their fullest potential, free from intimidation, harassment and violence. 
I am optimistic that we can and are achieving positive social change. And I hope that in your fearless pursuit for a safer and more inclusive community for all women, that I can ask that you use your presence and power to rally against racism and better support First Nations people's agency. Be vocal about refusing to accept the continuation of inequality against First Nations peoples. Stand with us in solidarity. The perfect opportunity is coming up next Saturday, the 26th of January, at the Sovereignty March. Be an enabler of First Nations self-determination. Support structural change to address injustice against First Nations peoples. Let's right the wrongs, Australia through a treaty process as equals, where all can have the opportunity to flourish.